welcome back to another episode of Nerdy Daydreams. I am so excited to tell you that we are back at the parks today. We're at Disneyland, we're gonna hop into California Adventure, but there's so many things on my mind. I don't even know what to tell you right now. It is, uh, gosh, Halloween time starts tomorrow at Disneyland. We've just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much. And uh, my birthday is on Tuesday, so I'm like celebrating a thousand subscribers and my birthday and Halloween and being back at Disneyland for the first time since Pride Night. So this video, the theme of it is just like, heck yeah, we're back in the parks and heck yeah, you all are the best. So why don't you come hang out with us in the parks today? Alright, so first things first, we've got to get some food in us. So we are at Dock and Bay 7 on Batu. We're getting our usual, we're getting uh, Rontola's Garden Wraps and we're getting some Tatooine Sunsets because it is a warm one today. So that's where Mary is right now. She's uh, she's being very chivalrous because of, of my wrist. So uh, she's gonna bring those over now. So one other thing that I'm happy to report is that we did get a virtual queue space for Haunted Mansion Holiday. And so we are, I think, group one, 191, something like that and they're at the group 118 right now, so not too much longer before we get to go on there. That'd be cool, it's gonna be the Haunted Mansion Holiday Overlay, so not the regular Haunted Mansion, uh, but the Nightmare Before Christmas version. So there is a bunch of new menu items starting tomorrow for Halloween. We did try go to Red Rose Tavern to see if they had one of the new items available, but they did not, so since it is uh, Mary's day slash month of celebration, she picked her favorite. I did Rontoist Garden Wraps. I just realized I should have got us napkins. So I might go try to acquire those inside Docking Bay 7. I'll be right back. Also, Tatooine Sunsets. Just as good as I remember them. Still a five, solid five. These are guaranteed five, so. Okay, I got three napkins. So there's an extra for anyone who needs it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I think we'll uh, we'll spare you guys watching us eat these on camera for about the ten thousandth time. So we'll <laughs> we'll see you on the other side. So Rondelis Garden Wraps, always five out of five. Tattooing Sunset, so good. After we finished eating, we just went for a quick lap around Galaxy's Edge and just poked our head into the stores to see if there was anything new we wanted to show you. Nothing too wild happened, but when we walked outside of Joy Depot, Simon and I looked at each other and we looked at the droids that hang out outside Droid Depot and we just had this moment where we were like, has that droid always been here? And we just like were convinced that there was a new droid and we asked a cast member and he was like, I don't know, there's cobwebs on it. And then we went back and looked at an old video and it's just always been there. But you know those moments in life where you're trying to like write the word ketchup and you're like, is that how ketchup is spelled? We just had that moment with the droid. So this is the droid that we couldn't remember. and. We need to go double check, but this might be the same droid class that Bard over by the Millennium Falcon is. So maybe that's why we didn't recognize this droid before. I think I always thought it was probably like just a piece of machinery. I mean, obviously the droids are a piece of machinery, but uh, just like a control panel or something. <laughs> so we just had to walk over here by the Millennium Falcon just to see if Bard is actually the same class of droid. It looks like he is. Um, I'm guessing the reason we never noticed the other one is because he doesn't have any arms. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why we didn't notice the other one, but yeah, he looks just like Bard. Just different color. Like, if you'd have asked me, like, put money on the table and said, how many droids are outside Droid Depot, I would definitely would have said four. 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 And I thought I would have, like, one trivia night with that, but it's been five the whole time. LOL. Oh my gosh, wow, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Just waiting for our Haunted Mansion virtual queue to be called. So we wanted to kill some time and look at some merch. And we made our way into this store, Port Royal Curios and Curiosities, I think it's called. This is fun. Look at 
It's 59. That's pretty. If we're coming back for Oogie Boogie, and I don't want to be sweaty, but it's gonna, I think it's still going to be this hot. But all these are really cool. This water bottle is $34.99, and it has this gargoyle on top. It's really cute. It's so cool. I would actually totally wear this. Ooh, it glows in the dark, too. That's fine. $69.99. Yeah, I'm not really sure about Oogie Boogie Bash. Um, on the day that this video comes out, that's the day that we're going. So you can help me without this in the comments, but I'm already going to have to have made a decision by then. Again, if it wasn't going to be so hot at Oogie Boogie, I mean, it's our fault for buying August tickets, but we just wanted to get there as soon as we could. I mean, there's another reason, too. And because we're going out of town for a little. More on that later. This is like the trend right now. Really, really oversized bags. Look at this Jack one. That's fun. It looks like you're carrying your bass drum with you. And it's 45. That's cool. I found this little mirror over here. Great. Okay, finally, the virtual queue has summoned us for Haunted Mansion. I can't wait to get on this epic ride. Let's go do it. That's very summary. We're going to fill in all the way forward. How many seats? Give me one second. Okay. All the way inside, please. All the way forward. Feel free to make the person in front of you uncomfortable. <laughs> a minute for our virtual queue to call us but once we got in it we got right on the ride and honestly it was worth the wait for just the gingerbread house smell alone that's my favorite part of the haunted mansion with the nightmare before christmas overlay it's the smell of the gingerbread house and they just like the artists that create the gingerbread house do such an amazing job every year such a good time and now i think we're going to make our way out of disneyland and head over towards dca Ghirardelli. Simon wants some ice cream and I heard from my friend Angie, not Ange, but Angie, that there is a non-dairy mocha coffee drink and I definitely want to try that. So let's check it out. Here it is. I'm going to go get you a spoon. I have to go back 
Okay, mine. BRB. You can get a iced or hot mocha at Ghirardelli with almond milk, and they have a non-dairy whipped cream as well. Just make sure no chocolate chips on top because the chocolate chips have dairy. And I'll tell you what it's like because I've never had this before. Appreciate the size of these straws. I'm gonna move over this way. Holy crap. That's really good. It's really good. What's the dominant flavor? Chocolate or coffee? Chocolate. Wow. You gotta try this, Simon. Alright. Five. Easy five. Five. Really good. That is really good. Um, I can't be honest, but I'm not blown away. Sorry, Mary. That's okay. I think that tastes like really good chocolate. Yeah, it does taste. It, it does taste good. I think uh, I got to remember that this is not as expensive as the Sunday, um, which is obviously a five out of five for me. Uh, so this is like was it six dollars or something like that after and then tax on top of that. So like like a normal. Fancy coffee at a coffee shop. Okay, I'm gonna get a four out of five, I think. All right, I'll allow it. So the Sunday has been demolished. And I am way too full. I need to walk it off. So we're gonna go to the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. Are you ready, Mac? You know it. We are on our way to award wieners. I just ordered some film strip fries, and I haven't had them in so long, so I'm so excited. Like at least a year because we only get them when we get the hot dogs and we haven't had hot dogs in forever so film strip fries simon is really full from the sunday i only had one bite i always do this to him but my mocha wasn't super filling so fries okay my fries are ready goodbye window five Thank you so much. If you haven't had film strip fries from award winners yet, get over here. They're really good. Five out of five. Perfect every time. Let me hit the spot. I feel like we came here and we, the consensus was that it was for kids. I mean, not that Disneyland isn't for kids, but I think we were like, ooh, should we have kids to be in this area? But let's try it and see if we still feel that way. Wanna go this way? Let's do it. Candles. <laughs> that must be for Oogie Boogie. <laughs> hey. Look at these prints. Look at the flowers. That's always here, or that's for Oogie Boogie. Are you okay to race down with your cast? I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Ready, Simon? Tell me when you're ready so we can race. I totally forgot about the mic and I yelled really loud. That's okay. 
I was talking to the camera, I didn't have the mic with me. <laughs> that was fun. That was so fun, I would totally go down that slide again. I kind of have that same consensus. It's like tricky to film in here because there's so many kids and we want to be respectful, but it's fun. A little escape from the actual like park. It feels a little bit more naturey in here. There's one more ride on my list, and it's the swings, the Silly Symphony Swings. I definitely want to make sure we go on that. Right now, there's a 20-minute wait, so let's head over there and then see what else is up. Symphony Swings and walked into Bing Bong Sweet Shop. And there's so many cool things here. Oh, does this hold pressed pennies? Yeah. Oh, so for these penny machines? Yeah. That's cool. That's so you got a nice little collection. Yeah. This is $17.99. That's fine. These are those build your own headband ears. Build your own ears headband. So it's like a plain headband, and then you pick who you want on it. So you can have like Tigger, or Aliens, or Buzz. Who do you want on yours? I would get Daisy and Minnie, girl power. Would that be cute? Very cool. I'm not gonna get it though. <laughs> Seeing a lot of stitch merch. It's fun, like scrunchy and bow set. If you remember our friend Amelia from uh, Pride Night, yeah, she no, loves, loves stitch. Well, Amelia's hair is short, so she probably doesn't want this, but she loves all things stitch. She might grow a hair for it. Amelia? $16.99. Aww. From here we're going to head over into Avengers Campus and we're going to see if we can get some redemption on the Deadpool and Wolverine merch that we didn't have success with when we were in downtown Disney on the premiere day of that film. So, yes. hope, yeah, so hopefully there's some good stuff here. They did say there was stuff inside the park. Fingers crossed that we'll see either Deadpool or Wolverine out today. I haven't got much hope just because I hear that they are more active towards the weekends. But you never know. You never know. You never know. And it's Avengers Campus, so it'll be fun anyway. It's always fun over there. Yeah. It's cool. I forget what it is. Is it from Doctor Strange? It's something to do with Doctor Strange. I don't think it was anything specific from the movies. It just is cool. Something Doctor Strange would have. Something related to sacred geometry. Very sad that there's no show anymore. I know. I'm super bummed about that. I know that we came here and saw the Doctor Strange show at least once, and I want to say that Simon filmed it, but I don't know where that footage is now. It might have just been one of those days where he was bringing the camera to, like, test out a new technique. Could have sworn we filmed it, but I haven't seen the footage. I'll keep looking. It was really cool, though. I hope they bring it back or put something else over there. Hey, don't 
not to strangers' home. I Strange. Strange, come out. You hear that? I heard that. That's cool. Magic door. I like that. Do you want to try? See if it works. Yeah. that thing again. One that time. That was fun. That was cool. Oh, well. Magic door. Why? Why? I don't know. No. Like, what? I'm, I'm just, I'm here. I feel like you have some people waiting to hang out oh. with you. I'll get out of here. Thank you, friend. Nice so good to see you. Yeah. Farewell, friends. Thank you. Hello. Thank you, Thor. <laughs> Addy. Hello. <laughs> we just accidentally jumped into that. <laughs> no, you're good. It was meant to be. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> So, so we just went into the old Doctor Strange area to like walk around, take some photos, and I was like trying to pose all tough, and then Thor came over and was like giving me advice on how to pose, and was so sweet, and then I'm like a whole line of people who had been waiting to take a picture with him came in, and I realized like I cut the line, but by accident, and Thor came up to us, so we were just in the picture space without realizing we were, and that was so cute. All right, well, so far we have found a hoodie. Yeah, at least there's a hoodie. This okay. is all we have left. That's all and it's only large. Okay. Yeah, that's, <laughs> so the keychain, I mean, the necklace went super quick. The keychain we had for a couple days. We had Funko Pops of uh, the show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. this is cool. But that's it, and I only have large. Okay, I'm thank sorry. you so much. That's okay. Yeah, you, you too. too. All right, well, for $54.99 in size large, they have this hoodie. <laughs> well, that's all they have left. Yeah, so hopefully Disney takes notice. Yeah. The end. <laughs> So before we get out of here, a couple things I've got to say. One, thank you again for 1,000 subscribers. Y'all are the best. You make YouTube so much fun. Um, two, yeah, celebrating my birthday today. Probably going to celebrate it again next week and the week after that because got to soak it all up. What else? Oh, when you're watching this or the day you're watching this, if you're watching it the day it comes out, that's the day we're going to Oogie Boogie Bash. So stay tuned because that video is going to come out next. And then breaking news in a couple of weeks we're actually going to Disneyland Paris now I've never been there before Simon went as a kid um, but I'm so excited to explore it and if you've been there before and there's anything you think that we should see or do please comment that below and if you've never been and there's something that you want us to check out so you could see it through our eyes uh, also let us know that in the comments I can't wait to show it all to you and I can't wait to send Simon on Tower of Terror by himself I'm not going on that I'm gonna hold his stuff um, but anyway thank you for watching this episode of nerdy daydreams if you're not subscribed already please consider subscribing and we'll catch you in the comments bye